If you live in the central Okanagan area and require air compressor service or repair, please give Murray a call at Repair 250-826-6533. That's Murray at Repair 250-826-6533. Quality work at a fair price. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gene Edwards. This is my review of the Edmonton Oilers Pittsburgh Penguins at the PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was a 5-1 victory for your Edmonton Oilers. They have clinched second place, so they have home ice advantage now. More than likely, barring some crazy miracle out of the heavens, they will place the or play the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, I currently have the Dallas Star game going on in the background. It is currently one to one in the second period with 4:12 remaining. If Vegas lose in regulation, they're done. Their 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 playoffs are over. Um, and we'll go into percentiles that was listed prior to this game, uh, just shortly. So. My game notes for this, Bouchard, like, I love the fact that he has a blast shot, and they're always on target, too, which is awesome. And he also has that really lucrative wrist shot. Like, I'm really loving what he's bringing to the table. Um, he ended up scoring twice, but one of them was called back in the second period due to an offside. Uh, when the Penguins did tie... Kane within seconds reestablished the lead for the Oilers. Like Kane is just crazy. And to compare Kane to some of the other players like to Foley, Giroux, Eichel, I know all those players came to their respective teams pretty close within the week of the deadline, if not on the deadline, and Kane came to the Oilers a couple months prior. But still, Kane has 39 points to Foley 23 points, Giroux 22 points, Eichel 21 points cop 12 points like Kane is looking good in orange and blue I don't care what anyone says and I hope we can manage to re-sign him uh Smith got a little sloppy in the second period and he nearly gave the puck to the away to the wrong person right onto Sidney Crosby's stick luckily it never transpired but yeah it was a little bit of a sloppy play trying to stick handle um, but it didn't seem to chase his confidence as he went for two attempts on net late in the third period when they had a well-established lead. But I think he was really trying to hunt down a goal. I would have laughed if he did. I think everyone would have laughed if he did. Uh, and again, there was a late game challenge by the Pittsburgh Penguins. That was another offside. So, uh, so whatever, it went back to 4-1, to one, and then Cassian did get the 5-1 to one lead reestablished. Here is the scoring summary of the game as, let's just bring this up. Uh, okay, the scoring summary was, was in the first period, Evan Bouchard, uh, he gets his 12th of the year, assisted from Evander Kane and Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid, 76 assists. He is more than likely, unless, well, again, barring another miracle, going to get the Art Ross this year. So the first period ends 1 to nothing, Edmonton. In the second period at 533, Jeff Carter gets his 19th from Mike Matheson and Jesperi Kapanen. Uh, we have a 1 1 game. Evander Kane, like I said, 25 seconds later, gets his 22nd. 22nd as an Edmonton Oiler. You got to remember, he came and he didn't play. Prior to that, because he was in, well, he was playing, but he was playing on San Jose's farm team before all the mess happened. But yeah, he really came around. It took him a couple of weeks, but he really came around. His 22nd from Kyler Yamamoto and McDavid. Uh, it's two to one. 
Zach Hyman uh, in the third period gets his 26 on the power play uh, from McDavid and Nugent Hopkins. Uh, and then McDavid gets his 44th of the year on the power play from Dry Seidel and Barry. It is now 4-1. to one. The empty net goes to Cassian, his 6th of the year from Cody CC and Brett Kulik. 5-1 to one final. Uh, a big night for Connor McDavid. Earns him the number one star. Evander Kane uh, gets the number two star. I should have mentioned McDavid had one goal, three assists. Evander Kane, one goal, one assist. And Evan Bouchard, one goal, uh, is the third star. As far as the stats go, it was 42-34 to 34 for Edmonton. Uh, for the high-quality chances, it was 11 for Edmonton and 9 for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So that was a little bit closer as far as the high-quality chances go. Um, hits were 25-22 to 22 Pittsburgh. Uh, face-offs won were 30-26 to 26 for Pittsburgh. All dead even on the power play opportunities. However, the results were not, as the Oilers cashed in on two of them. Um, and then the rest of the stats were pretty close. Block shots, Edmonton 18-12. Uh, takeaways, Pittsburgh 16-7. to So, a little bit of variances there. Um, this game didn't rely, or actually did rely on the special teams like I posted in my game review uh, the night before. Um, special teams was definitely a factor this game so we go to puck money now and this is prior to the games tonight uh the chances of the teams making the playoffs so vegas was sitting at uh prior to the four o'clock start at 14.6 uh percent chance to make the playoffs la sitting at where is la LA sitting at 99.5. Obviously, Edmonton is 100% as they have clinched it. Um, and then Dallas is sitting at 87.5. Nashville at 98.3. So, realistically, I think Vegas is done. Mathematically, they are still in there. Um, but by the end of tonight, they could very well be done. Uh, right now, the score I'm looking is still 1-1. It looks like Vegas is on a power play. But I think I think the uh, ship has sailed as far as Vegas making the playoffs this year. Here is the current updated standings after the Edmonton Oilers game. So the Oilers now sit at 100 points. That is awesome. 100 points for them. There is how many, like, how many teams are at? One, two, three, four. All eight teams in the Eastern Conference that qualify for the playoffs have 100 points. Like, that's crazy. As far as the West goes, one, two, three. Your Central does. Uh, and four, five. So five teams right now in the Western. Just crazy amount of teams getting 100-point seasons. Um, so that's all I got for you guys tonight. Um, the Oilers have clinched it. The Oilers have clinched home ice advantage. So now they will go home. Oh, looks like there was a goal here. I'm not sure. Yes, Vegas just scored. So there is an update. Vegas just scored with two seconds left on the clock. It's 2-1 to one now for the Vegas Golden. It's there hanging in there. Anyway, I will do a game review for the San Jose Sharks and the Vancouver Canucks, which close out the 2021-22 NHL season. And guess what, guys? Playoffs next week. Can't wait. We'll talk soon, guys. You have a great night. Oiler fans, the number one fan base in North America. If you guys like the content that Sammy and I bring you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and leave messages in the comments section below. We will talk to you soon. Have a great night.